okay so today we will uh, talk about a simple formula which is usually uh, taught in uh, I would say grade 10 math or grade 10, 11 math which talks about simple sum of n integers and this formula is actually well known and the way it is taught is using induction usually uh, but I prove it in a different way um, so uh, it is for you to see which which way you like more um, there are other ways as well but uh, this is one way which um, I particularly like so here it is so what we do is we have a n by n square matrix here and uh, uh, when we say we have to take the sum of these n integers we are actually summing this is our first term this is the second small diagonal is our uh, second term then 3 then 4 and the main diagonal is our n terms here so actually what we are trying to do is we are trying to just count how many elements are on the upper diagonal or upper on the left side of the matrix including the main diagonal so this is what we are actually going to count <coughs> so let's this is this counting is very easy so you can appreciate that we have to first of all count the elements on the upper side of the main diagonal which is what which is half of the total elements in the matrix minus the main diagonal so then if we go here what is the total number total elements in the matrix total elements on the matrix should be n squared and what should be the total elements in the main diagonal is n okay so we just talked about what is the sum now sum is the total elements in the main diagonal plus half of the remaining elements so total number in in the main diagonal is our n half of the remaining is n squared minus n divided by 2 so then we add this number to this number and basic algebra will tell you that we get 2n plus n squared minus n over 2 which is equal to n times n squared plus n over 2 which is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 so this is a very simple way to show this relationship okay hope you liked it